Okay, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to be talking about the bathroom. Yeah, your bathroom. It's one of those areas, those spots where clutter can accumulate quickly, and people tend to store way too many things in their bathroom. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of stuff in my bathroom, and most people have more than I do. So it's often small stuff, so it doesn't seem like it's a problem. Um, and the cabinets can be weird shaped. And so it's hard to tell where you want to, um, what to store in certain areas. So it can become cluttered really quickly. It becomes more of a, what shape fits in this shape to store instead of really thinking it out. So in addition to the weird shapes and the small items, there is a tendency to keep all of the medicines and cures for and uh yeah cures for ailments that you may not even have anymore that may be someone else has but you never had at all or try me items that don't really end up working out and you just put it back in the cabinet instead of letting go of it so uh it's a great place to declutter because the stuff piles up without a lot of thought. It's small. It doesn't matter. Someone else will use it. Um, lots of the excuses come into play when you're dealing with bathrooms. Um, and, you know, the travel things, the trial sizes. You know, if you didn't like that shampoo at the hotel, you're not going to like it when you get home either. Um, it's not going to be any different. So keep in mind, once you decide something, it's time to actually implement that. So the other thing that happens in bathrooms is to uh, so many things that aren't actually bathroom related end up in there. There's toys, there's exercise equipment, there's reading materials, there's cleaning products, there's hardware and clothes and accessories and even food. Uh, it's a story. <laughs> but what you have to do is really think about returning the things you bring into the bathroom to where they go so that the bathroom can be used for the hygiene and the getting ready for your day, not storing of all the things that happen to be in your hand when you needed to run to the restroom real fast, right? So think about it that way. Um, I've seen all this stuff stored in there and then the toilet paper is actually in the garage or in the pantry. Um, or in the laundry room. So let's think about, let's keep the essentials in the bathroom first and other things can come and go depending on your needs. Um, luckily, the bathroom is actually very easy to organize and to simplify once you start thinking it through a little bit differently. So let's talk about how you would actually organize your bathroom. I like to um, pull everything out of the cabinets. And as I do, anything that is expired or separated or sticky or, you know, lotions and potions just don't last forever. And so we need to make sure that the ones we're keeping are in good shape. Um, also, anything that smells off. Um, once bacteria is introduced and bacteria in the air or from our fingers is introduced back into the tube of or jar or bottle of whatever it is we're using, it can go off. So just there's no real expiration dates. We're looking for when things actually break down to um, a large extent. Some medicines you want to be wary of as they expire because as they break down, they can develop into new compounds and things like that. So just mostly we're looking for things that look or smell off though. Um, and then whatever's left, group those things by body part. Think, Start thinking in terms of kit. There is a kit of things that I use to take care of my teeth. There is a kit of things I use to take care of my hair. There is a kit of things I use to take care of my face, right? So think in terms of grouping like products together. Um, I like to do it based on body parts. So here's my hair, my teeth, my nails, my face, my body, um, my feet, etc. So you can have those kinds of groupings as your starting point. And then think through your actual morning and nighttime routines. What do you do when you get up and go to the bathroom first thing in the morning? What, what do you do? I 
use the restroom and I brush my teeth. So I need all the stuff for that. Um, I don't wash my face until after I work out in a little bit later in the morning. And so know what your routine is and what things you need on a day-to-day -day basis. And the same thing opposite for the evening. What do you do to get ready for bed? What are those products that you need? And those become your daily products, right? That's, um, and you can keep things in that order. I know it sounds kind of weird, but if you line them up either on the back of your counter or in your medicine cabinet or in the drawer or in the cabinet by the order you use them, you're much more likely to start returning them to the right place as you use them. Okay. Um, it can be helpful to think of it as a mini store. The cabinets and drawers are the store you're going to to get the things you need right? And then the overstock, the extra stuff is stored out of the way. But we want like one version of everything in the bathroom and the extras can live elsewhere if you are limited on your space. Um, and use things up. So let's say you have a whole bunch of lotions and several of them have been open already. And so they're partially used. Start using them up in order and then stick with your favorite over the long run. Which is your favorite lotion? Only buy that from now on. And the new ones go in the back of the line and you use up from the front to the back and you will always have the freshest, newest lotion handy and know right where it is, right? Um, okay, so stick with your favorite products. It saves on shopping. It saves on knowing how much room you need in your cabinet for things. It helps you realize when you're running low. And then stick to that. Use up all of a product before opening the new one. There's no need to go to the store and open the new one before you're done with the other one. Wait till you're finished with the other one or throw it away first. Um, think about using multi-purpose products. Would Dr. Bronner's soap help you replace your body wash and your shaving cream and perhaps even your laundry detergent? I don't know. Maybe. Um, so think of things that, that are multi-purpose, coconut oil, um, Vaseline, there's a variety of things that can be used for multiple things and they take up less room and not have to buy all the specific products. Um, the other thing that can really save some room is to pick your signature scent. I love lemon verbena. Everything I can get my hands on is love lemon verbena. If it's not, lemon verbena? It's because it doesn't exist in the lemon verbena um, scent. So once you do that, you're also limiting your choices. And in a product category, like um, items you use for um, personal care and hygiene, and even cleaning products, when there's a lot of different options, limiting by which options you'll even look at in the first place can really help you save time and energy and effort. So pick a signature scent. All right. Those are my top tips for helping you declutter your bathroom. And in the meantime, um, I will see you next week. And don't forget to like, follow, share, uh, tell all your friends. It's more fun to get organized together. All right. Take care and have a delightful day.